Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can embed Instagram Reels on Webflow. I'll show you the kind of just using the classic Instagram embed where you end up with all the Instagram links and stuff all over it. Sometimes the video will play in the page, other times it won't. Um, and you can, but you can basically drop in this simple embed. And then I'm going to show you another way where you can add in these kind of like slick custom carousels that match your site design. There's tons of different ways you can customize them, play buttons, uh, all that kind of stuff. And you've got these auto playing previews and things. Um, and yeah, you've got this nice slick carousel, which also looks uh, great on mobile. So I'll do the basic Instagram version first. Um, so let's jump across to Instagram. I've got the reel that I'm going to use. I'm going to just click embed, I'll turn off the caption, uh, copy that embed code. And then if we jump into Clipara, I've already made this once. So let's just start again and do what I did before. So we'll add a section. Let's just quickly give this section big view height so it can fit in there. And I'm going to add a block inside that section. And then I'm just going to add the HTML embed. So we'll go code embed, and then we just paste the Instagram code in there, save and close. And then I'll see if you wanted multiple of those, you could just copy and paste, set that up to be flex uh, with a bit of spacing. And let's also set this to flex and centered and we'll center this as well. So then you've got your Instagram embeds in there. And then if you hit publish, you will get this experience here. So that's the, that's just the simple version. And then if we use Clipara, we can create all these different custom designs. So I'm going to jump across into Clipara which is the tool we're going to use. And I'm going to create a new campaign you know, on site. I'm going to do an inline campaign for this, which plays the video in the page, but there is also a full screen embed, which takes over the whole screen. So on mobile, it takes over the full screen, like an Instagram reel or a TikTok, and you have an upwards swiping experience to switch between different videos. Let's do inline for this one. I've already got a bunch of videos, but to add more, you just click add videos you can upload from directly from your computer, which is often the best for the highest quality. And then you can also link your Instagram account or post a real link in here. So I've already got all my videos. Let's grab the ones I'm going to use. I'm going to use, let's uh, use these. You can also drag to reorder your videos, um, give them a random order. Let's create a campaign. And then you've got some template examples of layouts that you can use. You can also just start again from scratch. Um, in this instance, let's use this template that I had in the example and just select customize this template. Once you're in here, you can change um, the design a bunch of different ways. You can use different play buttons. You can change the colors of the play buttons. Um, change the alignment of them, whatever it might be. Uh, you can also change these navigation options. So you can change the navigation buttons, move them around, um, whatever it might be. So you can customize this to be however you want. We can also make the videos um, slightly taller, change, the, change this to be overlapping so that it stretches to the side of the screen bunch of different things you can do. So let's now just install this. So I'm going to hit save and the install mode will come up the first time, click that, and then let's jump into Webflow. Um, again, let's do this section again from fresh. So I'm going to add a section. Excuse my terrible labeling of sections. Obviously, normally I would do that. Let's give this another big view height and I'm going to add a div block in here. I'm going to set this to flex and centered. It's important not to put 
the Kapara embed inside uh, a div that has its own flex without a set height, because otherwise it can do some strange things. So just put it inside its own block that doesn't have any flex settings on it. And we're going to go code embed again, paste in our code snippet. Let's set this to set the div block to 100% width. Now maybe we will add a little bit of padding on desktop. And on mobile, we want that to go fill it. We want the carousel to be nice and smooth to the side of the screen. So we'll set that to zero. Switch back to desktop. And then if we publish that, we will have the example that I showed in my demo. So let's hit publish. And now we have our example site. So this is the Instagram version that I showed you before. And then this is the new custom carousel that I've designed. And that's it. It's as simple as that. There's a bunch of other ways you can customize this. You can add titles to each video um, to give it more context and lots of other little design elements. You can also do grids, different layouts, single embedded videos, um, and loads more.